What's up gamers, it's your friend who's here once again and I will be your game guide for today. If you subscribe to our channel, you're gonna get my first impressions, reviews, and tutorials on the upcoming, latest, trending, and top mobile games today. I upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, PHT. So stay tuned, watch this video up until the end, sit back, and take it easy. Alright, so today we're going to take a look at the newest character in Black Desert Mobile. The Dark Knight. Gamers, this is definitely not Bruce Wayne or Batman. She's more likely an assassin. The Dark Knight consumes nature energy to fuel his dark powers, which she uses to empower her beautiful but lethal Craig's Macer to lay waste to her enemies. Now let's check out her skills. First on the list is the Twilight Thrust. This skill sends a wave of energy at the enemies with a powerful thrust. Charges 2, cooldown 4.7 seconds, 60.38% times 2 damage per hit, and inflicts days on hit. This is somewhat like confusion on your enemy. The next one is the Shadow Slash. This skill charges dark energy at the death of the Kriegs Messer. Uh, let's just use weapon for our sake. <laughs> then releases it in a powerful slash. Charges 1, cooldown 1 second, 73.02% times 2 damage per hit. Max 2 hits, recover 1 magic per hit. Hold the skill button for consecutive attacks. Well, uh, this is uh, more likely a multi hit on a single target. Probably useful for uh, PvP or boss raids. The next one is called Eclipse. This skill unleashes a mass of dark energy and topples surrounding enemies. Charges 1, cooldown 6.8 seconds. 70.8% times 3 damage per hit, 66.61% times 3 PvP damage per hit, recover 1 magic per hit, inflicts knock up on hit. Definitely, this is a PvP skill, and uh, you need to include these skills on your combo list. The next one is Cross Slash. Overwhelm enemies with waves of dark energy. Charges 1, cooldown 10.6 seconds, 75.75% times 3 damage per hit, max 2 hits, recover 2 magic per hit, and flicks knock up on last hit. Another one is the Nightfall. Leaps into the air with a vertical slash before crushing down on the enemy. Charges 1, cooldown 12.9 seconds, 50.71% times 3 damage per hit, recover 1 magic per hit, grant super armor during first attack. Wow, that's really nice. Inflicts knock up on first hit and inflicts bound on last hit. While uh, you need to use the skill wisely, most especially in tight situation due to the attributes that it has. The next is the Shadow Flare. Gutters and launches dark energy at distant targets. Charges 1, cooldown 9.9 second, 97.71% damage per hit, recover 1 magic per hit, and flick stand on hit. Well, uh, this is probably one of the few range skills that the Dark Knight have. This is a good initial skill to use on battle or to catch escaping enemies. The next one is the Craig's Maser Mastery. Increase the Craig Maser damage. Charges 1, cooldown 0.2 seconds, 55.1% damage per hit, max 3 attacks, 
recovers one magic per hit, lateral attack, possible. This is the Dark Knight's uh, basic skill. I can say that much about it. The rest of the skills are not available yet on my character, but I'll just show it to you so you can read through it. Here it goes. Let's check out the Dark Knight's passive skills, which are pretty basic. Alright, now that we all know about the Dark Knight's skills, let's talk about its gameplay and characteristics. Wow, look at those stunning graphics. It's really nice. Uh, sorry guys, I just can't stop myself from appreciating those graphics. Great job, Pearl Abyss. Anyways, the Dark Knight's damage is definitely one of its assets. You can pretty much slay mobs and bosses, or even characters probably much faster than any other physical damage dealer on this game. Combined with its high mobility and awesome combat animations, then definitely this is a fun character to play with, most especially for those assassin users out there. A little bit on the dark side of this dark night. Can you imagine how dark it is? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, are the disadvantages. Like any other assassin character out there, the dark knight has a low HP and low so you would need to use tons of red bots and maneuver your way on any fight, most especially in dungeon and boss raids. So uh, your character won't die that easy. And don't forget to study your skills so you can come up with a perfect combo to slay anyone without them being able to cast any skills on you. And now for my final thoughts. Well, uh, this is definitely not one of the easiest characters to use in this game, but it's definitely fun to use. Anyone probably with uh, average experience in playing MMORPG games like this can use this character. Well, anyone, basically. As what they say, we can learn almost everything. We just need to put time and effort on it, right? Gamers, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share this video to your friends, family, or just anyone who you think love mobile games. Shout out your thoughts, suggestions, and reactions on the comment section down below, and subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell, so that you'll be updated on the latest and the hottest mobile games out there. This is Fred once again, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to take it easy. Goodbye for now, see you on my next video, peace out to everyone and keep safe.